everyone's Jackal Wolf back in Sky Factory 1 with another Sky Factory 101 tutorial video. This is the series where I am, you know, basically going through the beginning steps of Sky Factory 1. Uh, it does come with a task book, but if you're not familiar with old school Skyblock, the task book is not really going to help you very much, especially when it comes to starting out. So last episode, we spent a little bit of time and we made ourselves a automatic dirt farm. Basically anything organic that we put into this chest gets pushed into this barrel. The barrel compost sits down into dirt. Once it makes it into dirt, it is pushed down into this chest and we get a whole bunch of dirt down here at the bottom. So I'm actually going to take, let's take 20 dirt. Now, last episode, I said that dirt is going to be our gateway resource into pretty much everything else in this pack. That is because dirt is going to be our early game method of making cobblestone. To make cobblestone from dirt, we're going to need two things. The first of which is going to be a sieve. Now, to make a sieve, it is four planks, a half slab, and two sticks. And we're also going to need a mesh. Now there's only one mesh in Sky Factory 1 that is a string mesh. To make a string mesh, we simply need nine string. To get string in Sky Factory 1, we need to take the silk worms. Now we've been getting these worms by using the crook on leaves, you know, on a tree. I mean, there we go. So there's a sapling there. Eventually we're going to get a worm out of this. In any case, that's how we ended up getting all these worms. It's totally random. To get string from the silkworms, what we're going to do is place them onto the tree. Now, you could place one. It will eventually take over all of the leaves that it is touching. But, you know, I had 11 in my hand there. We're going to put all 11 on this tree. You can see that they are slowly changing color from the sickly green. If we hit shift, we can see a progress bar. As soon as it's done, that progress bar disappears. Now, once this tree has been completely infested... Almost, and there we go. So this tree is now completely infested with the silkworms. What we're going to do is we're going to take our crook. We're going to go vein mine that, and we just get a ton of string and also a ton of worms back. Now the string, to make the string mesh, we're going to go and put the nine string into the crafting table. That gets us our string mesh. And we can go place our oak sieve someplace in our world. I'm just going to go place it over here on top of this dirt block just for the moment. We'll come up with a better spot for it later. We're going to take this mesh and by right clicking it, we place it into the sieve. Now we can take things like dirt. We can place it on our mesh and then we just hold down the right click button and we get a bunch of resources from it. Now, the resource that we're looking for right now for the most part is going to be uh, this stone pebbles. And here's the thing I was waiting for. It didn't actually happen during testing, so I didn't think it was going to happen. The other thing we need string for... Let's just, let's just protect ourselves a little bit. The other thing we're going to need string for is going to be to make some wool to make some beds. So four string in a two by two area in a crafting table gets you wool. And then I got some wood right here, right waiting for it. I didn't think this was going to happen. I did a test on this. I didn't get any phantoms at all. So then we go place our bed in our world. We can now sleep. And there you go. Day four phantoms. It, technically, it says it's day three uh, in, down below on the thing. So I'm really kind of surprised about that. This, I didn't think this was going to actually happen. Okay, so... <laughs> Now that we've taken care of that, now I like to jump up on top of the sieve. I don't know why. It's just something I like to do. We can actually improve our sieving by putting multiples, ones of these side by side, up to a five by five grid. I actually thought it was three by three during my Let's Play video. Somebody in the comments told me it was five by five. But for right now, we've only got a little bit to sift, so one is going to be fine. When you've got huge, huge amounts to sift, it would make more sense to do the multiple sieves at the same time. And there you go. So that was 20 dirt. 
that got us a stack of stone pebbles and then an extra six. Also, we got all of these other things. We got a bunch of seeds here. We got some diorite pebbles, some black stone pebbles. Uh, we got some wood seeds as well. If you're not interested in getting different wood types, uh, you could throw these in here. And any, you know, you could also do it like we've got two carrot seeds. I mean, we could throw those in there as well. They'll all get composted, turned into dirt for later on. It's totally up to you what you keep. You probably want to keep at least one of everything uh, just to have access to something maybe in the future. Important to keep an eye out for our grass seeds though. We are going to have to make a grass platform. Uh, that's basically going to be where we get our passive mob spawning. Now to make cobblestone from the stone pebbles, this was the whole point of this episode. We're going to take those pebbles, spread them out in a two by two area. So four pe stone pebbles in a crafting table will get us cobblestone. There you go. We got 16 cobblestone and actually we can make one more out of those uh, six. We left over with two, not a huge deal. We'll be doing a lot more dirt sifting as we go through this pack. Now, there you go. We now have cobble in our world. Cobble is going to be very important because we're going to need to use it to make things like gravel and sand and dust. Sifting those through the mesh is going to get us a lot of our ores. It's going to get us a lot of our resources. So to break down the cobblestone into other materials, we're going to need to use a hammer. Right now, we've only got wood hammer. Technically, I could make a cobblestone hammer as well. But to make a hammer, it is simply two sticks on the diagonal and then two of the resource type that you're using. So I've got a recipe here for wood hammers. If I was smart, I could have kept two pieces of cobblestone. If I put the two pieces of cobblestone in there, we would have had a cobblestone hammer. But it doesn't matter. It works just the same. We're going to take our wood hammer. I'm going to vein mine this one as well. And that breaks it all down into gravel. We're going to go put the gravel in our world. We'll do nine there use the hammer. We now got some sand. We're going to place the sand in our world, use the hammer, and we now got dust. So that is how you break down cobblestone into the other resources. Now we can take these resources. We can come up. Now my inventory is pretty full, but you know what? I think I got enough to do just a little bit here. So if we do things like gravel, you see, we picked up some stuff right there, some appetite, some flint, a couple ore pieces. This is going to be very important. This is how we're going to get early game iron. If we do the dust or sorry, the sand, we end up getting some prismarine shards or prosperity shards, some silver ore, some cinnabar, and then dust. We can do the same thing with that. And we get, we got blaze powder. We also get redstone and things like that from dust. So very, very useful. You will be doing this quite a bit. This is going to be your new grind. Once you've ground out all those leaves to make dirt, you're next you're going to be grinding out all that cobble uh, to make a bunch of uh, smaller resources that you're going to be using. Oh, I put that in there. That you're going to be using to get the rest of the stuff for your world. Now, the best part of doing all that is we actually have two tasks from this book that we can go and check off. So we have infested a tree with silkworms and we have crafted a sieve and inserted a mesh. So those are two things that we've actually got complete from this book. But of course, it doesn't really tell you how to get there or how to you know accomplish those things. So that's what this series is all about. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you guys found it helpful. If you did, please think about leaving a like and a subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter at Jackal Wolf. Also check out description below. There'll be a link to my discord page. I would love it if you guys stopped by to say hi as well to be a link to my Patreon page. If you enjoy this channel, if you enjoy this content, you want to support, stop by, check it out. There are a lot of great perks out there for all of my supporters, but that is it. I'll see you guys next time. Good.